Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. Let's see how to update MySQL data in Python TKinter using tree view table in this video. In my previous videos, I have explained about displaying the MySQL data in a tree view format in Python TKinter and we have inserted as well as deleted records in tree view. This is the output which we have obtained already. We had insert and delete operations as well as vertical and horizontal scroll bar to display the MySQL database contents in tree view format. Now we are just going to add one more option called update option so that we, we can select any record and change any of the values present in the tree view which will be updated in the MySQL database also. So this is the code which we have already written. So we are going to create another button for update option. So I'll just use the same configuration, change it to update button. And this should call a function called select data of tree. Update button and place it in x is equal to 400 y is same and I'll change the color of background blue okay fine so we have just created a button and this is going to call this function select underscore data of tree so let me define a function here for selecting the data select underscore data of tree okay these are the steps. First, we have created the button for update option. Now, we are going to write the function to display the values of the selected row. First, we have to get the values of the selected row in tree view. Then, finally, we have to use another function, update data function, to edit the data in the tree view as well as in the MySQL table. In order to display the values of selected row, we have to use tree view dot focus method. So, this will return the selected item. The select item, I will use currently selected item is equal to the tree view is tree dot focus fine and then select items values can be returned using tree view dot item method values equal to tree dot item method tree dot item takes own argument current item the selected item and the optional argument is the values okay so now we have obtained the values, each and every values of the current item. If you want, you can print and check these values. So once you have selected a particular item, that values will be printed. Okay. The next step is, you have to create frame, labels and entry widgets so that we can display the selected values in our GUI that is in your TK Inter. So in order to create the frame and entry widgets, I'll just go for the same code which I have used in add underscore data of tree frame the creation of frame labels and entry widgets totally we have six entry widgets I'll use it here okay using this insert method for entry widgets the values which you have obtained from the selected row should be inserted into that entry widgets so here I'll use c1 dot insert of starting from 0 comma the values values of 0 will contain the student id which is automatically incremented and the users doesn't have access to it so i will start from values of 1 that is student name similarly for all other entry widgets totally we have 6 entry widgets ok we have inserted the values on all the entry widgets and finally have to create another button to perform update operation this button should be placed inside this select data right so i have added two buttons here one for update option and another for cancel option on pressing update button it should call the function update underscore data or if the user selects to cancel f dot destroy is called that is the frame will be closed so we have to define the function here so i will just do it as an inner function here inside this select data function so update underscore data 
I have made this as an inner function so that I can access all these entry widgets as well as the selected row that is the current item and its corresponding values that can be used inside this update data function using the keyword non-local. So I will use E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, this current item as well as the values. What are the things we are going to do inside this update data? Okay, the first step is you can retrieve the entry widgets current text that is whatever the student has updated. So that can be obtained using this text variable dot get method. So this also we have done in insert method. I'm just going to use the same thing. We are obtaining the student name, gender, city, everything, current text. Paste it here. We have got the current text from the entry widgets after updation. So next step is use treeview.item method with the values of the selected item to update the treeview table. Okay, so I will use tree.item method with the current item comma values equal to. I am just going to update. Actually in the tree view student id also will be displayed so student id will be stored in values of 0 and the remaining things if you have changed anything that can be obtained from these variables student underscore name comma g comma cit comma e p and c yeah. now we have to perform updation in mysql table so that is the third step you have to use update query in cursor.execute method and after updation you have to use commit statement for the connection. So this is a query for updation. Cursor.execute method update the table name set. We are going to update these values alone. Student name, gender, city, email, contact number and course. This student ID should not be updated. Okay. So set student name, gender, city, email, contact number course where the selected student id must be mentioned okay and i have passed the values here so for student name it is yes name gender city e and for phone numbers i have converted into int then the course and for the last where condition i am passing values of zero fine and after cursor dot execute connect dot using comment method connect dot commit fine that's it now we will use a message box show information mb dot show info first argument is a title we have a success title and the message is student data updated student data updated okay and finally after updation we have to delete the contents in the entry widgets using delete method and we can close the frame so I will just use even dot delete 0 comma end similarly for all the other entry widgets okay and finally we have to close this frame also f dot test okay values is actually a tuple so it must be placed within the brackets here now on executing this so we have got this option update now let me update the phone number of a particular person. So I will select uh, this row and press this update option. It is displayed in the entry widget. So I just want to change this number to 458. Now after changing this I am pressing update option. Student data is updated here. So it shows up here 458. Phone number is updated here will also be updated in the database phone number is updated for this that's it thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe